Hi, it's Ashley from Life by Ashley Pache, where I invite you to join me in doing life together, living intentionally by faith every day. Welcome to this week's installment, installment, there we go, of um, hiding God's truths in my heart. Each week I memorize a verse or a portion of scripture that helps me to know who I am in Christ, um, so that I can hide those truths in my heart and I have confidence because of who I am in Christ, not because of what I've done or who I am and in my flesh. And this week's verse is so, so important along the lines of this, who I am in Christ, because it talks about how I am one in spirit with the Father. Um, my verse this week came from 1 Corinthians 6, 17, and it says, but the one who joins himself to the Lord is one spirit with him. And at first I wasn't really sure what that verse was talking about. I kind of looked at it and I read it and I thought, I'm, yeah, I, I'm not sure. So I went ahead and did a little bit of research, studied and pulled out some different references, and I have a reference I want to share with you from the book of Romans verses, in chapter 8, verses 9 through 11, and I'm going to read this to you out of the New American Standard. It says, However, you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. If Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So that portion of scripture really helped me to understand what it meant that if I'm joined myself with the Lord, that I am one spirit with him, because when we by faith accept Christ's gift of eternal life, we are placed in Christ. And because we are placed in Christ, we are then one with the Father because Christ and the Father are one. And so those two passages together really help me to understand that my identity as a believer is in Christ and that because of that, I am one with the Father in spirit. I hope that encouraged you. I hope it challenges you. Um, if you are memorizing God's truths and hiding them in your heart, which I hope you are, I encourage you to join me each Monday um, as I share my verse of the week. I have an opportunity below in the post for you to share your verse of the week and how you're doing progress wise as well. If you're doing a verse a month or whatever, however often you are memorizing, go ahead and link up each time you do memorize so that we can encourage one another and keep one another accountable. I will see you back next Monday for another edition of Hiding God's Truths in My Heart.